All right, guys, jumping into it, we're going to get into the top stocks that performed well during the 2008 crash. So this is playing off the other video that we made of the top stocks during the 2000 crash to help give you some ideas of stocks that will perform well when the market crashes here soon. Guys, we've been seeing a lot of printing of money. We've been seeing unemployment numbers increasing throughout the whole year, and we haven't seen much economic stimulus as in businesses getting back to to work, employees getting back to work, jobs hiring, and what we saw before the pandemic, which is just saying that our economy isn't in the states that we need it to be for the uh, for the stock market to keep performing well. And so because of that, in order to profit and protect our money during a stock market crash, we need to be prepared and we need to know the stocks that will help us do that. So I'm going to go through the um, top 10 stocks that performed well during the, during the 2008 crash. And if you and if you stay to the very end, I'll show you my favorite stock that I use to make money during stock market crashes. All right, stock number one is Allegiant Travel Comp company, ALGT. This stock did well during the 2008 crash, and right now it's doing well so far in 2021, and it's done well relatively speaking, in 2020 compared to most stocks. And so if we zoom out of this, this stock is almost like a lost decade stock, meaning that if we zoom out over 10 years, the stock price tends to start and stop at the same amount. So really, when you buy this stock, you're looking to make money on dividends because the stock price doesn't increase much. But what we are seeing of this company is it had a solid resistance point, meaning that the highs over the last 10 years kept hitting the same level, kept hitting around 180. Um, but now in 2021, we actually surpassed 180 and now the stock market is continuing higher to set new highs. So this stock is definitely doing well as we start to set new highs on this stock and we're going to see more action come into this. So uh, Allegiant Travel, stock symbol ALGT, is going to be a great stock to look into during the next crash or recess re recessionary period. The next stock that did well was Coke, Coca-Cola Consolidated Inc. So this is a stock that is almost like Walmart, where you're not going to see a huge return from it every single year, but you will see a very consistent return from it every single year. So again, if we look over the period, it does long term go from bottom left hand corner to top right hand corner of the chart, meaning that the company does increase in value over the long run. But we really do see channels built up on this stock, meaning that the highs hit a certain level and the lows consistently hit a certain level, which is good for swing traders because they know where to buy at these low levels, which is currently at around 215, and they can sell at the high points, which is currently around 343. So the percentage difference in between your high and lows is about a seven, is about a 75% gain, but again, it takes about a year to two years to get to that level. So again, a year to, to two-year swing trade uh, is not too bad for a 75% gain, um, but really, we're co we're where Coca-Cola steps in, it is a very consistent and reliable company. It's been here. It's a dividend king, I believe, meaning that it's been offering and raising its dividends every single year for the past 50 years. So again, very a very consistent and reliable company that performed well during the 2008 crash. And so I would say we would assume that it's going to do well in the next crash as well. It's just a very reliable company. The next stock on our list is LINC. So Lincoln Educational Services. So again, this is one that performed well during the uh, 2008 uh, crash, but I have a feeling won't do too well in the, in the next crash. So far here actually in uh, 20. 20 when most of the market actually crashed it actually performed really really well so um, it is stepping up as it's understood idea that this stock performs well during crashes which is true it's performed well during the pandemic so far but if you if you can just look at the long-term outlook it's not performing as well as it used to so again this is still a stock to look into as it did perform well so far in 2020 and 2021 and performed well in the two in the 2008 crash so it's something to keep on your list but I definitely do think there's better so stay tuned especially for the stock that I'm gonna that I'm gonna mention that I use to profit during stock market crashes 
which is NKTR or Nectar Therapeutics. This performed really well during uh, the last crash, but like I was saying with some of the sim- with some of the other stocks, is that I don't think it's going to do well in the next crash. Again, throughout 2020, it has performed relatively well, as in it hasn't lost as much money, but at the same time, it hasn't gained as much money either. So, like I was saying, I had to mention this stock because I wanted to show you the top stocks that performed well in the 2008 crash. But like all stocks that used to do well, they don't they don't always continue to do well. And this is one that I don't think will continue will continue to do well, but it did make the top list. Anyways, the next stock is AZO or AutoZone. And so this stock is doing really well, um, especially considering where it's been in recent months. But so we saw a, uh, a nice decline with the rest of the market back when the pandemic first hit. But now it's starting to trend really well, starting to set new all time highs, which is very awesome. So this stock performed well in 2008. And so far, despite uncertain market conditions, it's performing well in 2021. And so this is definitely a stock that you should be looking into stock symbol a z o all right the next stock we're going to look into is gfi gold fields so if we can see here gold fields performed well again gold fields is a gold alternative correct and so what we know gold is gold is not something that that you make money on when you account for inflation over 18 year period you see about i think it's you can correct me if i'm wrong it's roughly about a 0.5 or like one person one percent return every single year and so gold is not meant to be something that generates you money it's meant to be used as insurance it goes up when the market is scared. It goes up when people are uncertain. Gold is a commodity. It is a metal. And so like we've been seeing here, it performed well throughout 2020 and so far 2021 because pe- people were scared and they didn't know what was going on. So we had our insurance kick in and raise prices. But gold is not a long-term investment. So this is definitely something gold in any form, whether it's gold fields, GFI, gold a commodity, or gold miners, these are the stocks and industries that you want to look into during the next crash because as insurance, they always perform well. All right. The next stock we want to look into is RGR. And so RGR here is a stock that did well back in 2008, but like some of these stocks, they may have overstayed their welcome. So you can see here that over the last period, we're kind of a lost decade and a lost decade just means that if you look at a stock over a 10-year period, it's it's opening and closing at roughly the same price. So over a 10-year period, the stock made no money. So the people who did make money here are the dividend holders and people who are making money through dividends, which is fine. But the way you make the most money in a stock is through cap is through capital gains, aka the stock increasing in price. So RGR is definitely a stock to look into since it has performed well in the past, but probably won't be one of your top hitters. All right. And then not a surprise is Netflix is performing well, um, not only in 2008 crash, but it's performing well um, in 2020 and 2021 so far. It's just doing astronomically well, but also it had to have raised its performance with Disney Plus Kate kicking in and hitting over a million subscribers. And so Netflix is definitely having to compete on a different level, thus increasing the stock market price. And so what we see here on Netflix is Netflix is just an overall great example of a stock. Um, Again, we're going to see how it performs well with Disney Plus over the next few uh, months and years. Um, But Netflix is definitely here to stay, in my opinion, as of the moment. So guys, these are the top stocks that performed well during the 2008 crash. Now, if you want to know my top stock, it is SDS. Oops, SDS. SDS is an inverse of SPY. So for instance, when the S&P 500 market drops and crashes, for instance, when you're on the news and they say the S&P 500 crashed 12,000 points today or whatever, SCS actually went up that amount. So SCS is an example. If we look back here in March when it crashed because of the pandemic, SDS actually went up 35% in a matter of two weeks. And that is a great way to protect your portfolio, especially if you uh, turn and take some of the money from one of your worst losers. If you sell it and you put it in SDS during the next crash, it's going to help protect your portfolio. Or if you're able to get into a larger position on SDS, you can definitely make a lot of money in a short amount of time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you ever want to know where to find the best stocks or what stocks are going to take off, you can use the Impeccable Stock software. Start your 14-day free trial using the link in the description below. You can see here we have default searches like stocks, 
uh, ready to explode for swing traders and steady safe growers for investors. And it shows you the top stocks that are going to perform well over that next period. Also, it shows you the exact game plan for every single stock, where to buy, where to sell, and why with so much more info. So guys, if you want all the info for stock research in one place, check out the impeccable stock software, 14-day free trial, linked below. See you in the next video.